I've had cases where somebody rips and they take this person for medical examination to find out whether he did it under the influence of being mad or he had to start stable mind. And so we don't want to use that excuse, but we can't rule it out. Everybody has some level of madness, and I always advise my colleagues, never act out of anger. The campaign against gender-based violence towards women and girls implements laws and policies like the Domestic Violence Act 2010 and the National Plan of Action for Sexual and Gender-Based Violence to protect the rights of women and girl child. Sexual reproductive health and rights is partner to the campaign. Um, today we join the rest of the world in commemoration of the 16 days of uh, activism. This is a global campaign that is celebrated widely and uh, the main reason why it is celebrated is to showcase and show why we need to end violence um, against uh, the different people and how we can ensure that people are living safe and healthy lives. Why there is a focus on gender-based violence during uh, this particular week is that you find um, over, um, if you're to have statistics, one in every three women has experienced violence or is experiencing violence or is a victim of gender-based violence. The campaign against violence on women and girls that starts today November 25th till December 10th is on the theme, Invest and violence against women and girls. We call upon, you know, line ministries, Ministry of Health, Ministry of um, Gender and Social Development to resurrect all of those policies, the ones that are in the works, the ones that have uh, been approved, that were made to protect, you know, women and girls against gender-based violence to ensure that they are being implemented, those that, are not, those that have not been passed, to ensure that uh, steps are being taken to make sure that such policies, you know, are done. Therefore, it is easier for us to pass on this information to our peers and have our own creation of awareness in a way, but in a space that we know we can openly talk about these things. Um, because when we sh we're sharing this information, we're disseminating it. But of course, in a fun, interactive way for young people to also be able to understand because we are peers and we understand better how to communicate. Then too, it is easier for peers to create a safe space for each other without judgment. Because half of the reasons as to why young people do not come to their parents or someone older when they face gender-based violence is because they fear they're going to be judged. Charity Nahawe, UBC Tonight.